I'm Caleb Farmer, and this is my family. I've been a missionary in Mexico since I was seven years old. I've done some pretty epic things in my life, so I decided to start recording them. Hope you enjoy, and don't forget to subscribe. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Epic MK Adventures. An insurance company had contacted my dad a few days ago because one of their airplanes had crashed out into the mountains. So we were hired to bring it to the city. And so we're gonna disassemble the plane, we're gonna bring it down to this river, and then we're gonna load it onto a boat. And then we're gonna take that boat across the lake where we'll be able to truck it out and bring it out back to the airport here to work on it. And so I hope you guys enjoy the video. Stay tuned in the end, it'll be awesome. We'll see how what happens. After making a two hour drive to the dam, we loaded all of our stuff onto the boat. And then after we did that, we took a two hour boat ride to the village that we were heading to. So I do like Caleb. Yo, yo, go check out my YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. No, that's fine. Um, I don't know what to say about my YouTube channel. What is it called? Well, our YouTube channel is called McDaniel's in Mexico. Um, we try to record things about like our daily life and things like that. Uh, a lot of the mission-related stuff that we we don't really record too much because getting out a camera kind of makes people feel awkward and. Then you try to get them to open up and talk about the gospel, and they're like, uh, they're already skeezed out. So, um, but yeah, family things, fam family adventures, and just what it's like to live down here is pretty much what we do. Now that we made it to this tiny fishing village, we then loaded all of our stuff onto another truck and then took another two hour drive up to the airplane. Now this village is known for its black saint. People make pilgrimages here every year the week before Easter to pay homage to the black saint. Oh, yeah, I see and then he landed and he spun the plane around. So we finally made it to the, the plane crash, and here's the plane right here. It came, the airstrip is over there. It came and hit this tree right here, and then it came and landed and spun around right here, and then it's right here, and we've been starting to disassemble it a little bit. All the pilots are okay. I think just somebody just got a little scratch in their forehead. I think that was it. But we're gonna start, we're gonna start taking it apart. See you soon. So here at this first arrow, 
is where the airplane just barely missed this rock wall and hit the top of this tree. And then right here is where the plane touched down and then it spun around. And hitting that tree did this to the back of the plane. The hole started about three feet behind where the pilot sat. Now we began hard work on the plane. Now while we were working on the plane, the natives made a makeshift engine hoist to lift up the motor. There you go. Oh my goodness, look at all those daddy long legs. That is Holy crazy. <laughs> that looks like I got it over here, man. Where is it, Black Widow? There's a big oh, one. Oh, there you go. There's a Black Widow. Those daddy long legs are bad. With salt. What are you eating, Dad? Alright, today is designer beef ravioli. The world. What are you eating, Cliff? Penny with penny noodles with vegetable sausage. Can't go wrong. Mm, sounds good. Mm -hmm. I do not remember what I'm eating. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm eating. Now we began to load up the trucks with some of the parts from the airplane. Now, if this part of the airplane looked heavy, you should have seen us try to carry that motor. We had to actually get an extra three more guys. Now after we ate, we settled down for a long night of sleep. Then the next day we got right back up into it. I'll get you ducking in the leaves. <laughs> this is gonna hurt. Now today we brought all the airplane parts down to the boats.
now we're gonna bring all the airplane parts to the docks where we're gonna unload it onto a tow truck and then bring it to the airport. You get it all in two? Yeah, actually. The grill is here already. I was just talking to him. Wow, this thing is trashed. It is, man. Oh, that's too bad. Hey, hey, you're gonna dent that, Caleb. Oops. <laughs> Thank you for watching to the end. If you watched to the end, make sure you're subscribed and give this video a thumbs up. See you in the next one.